And so yeah, I know the festival is going on, but I think I'm going to need some help with this one. It's pretty tough. Zinc fireballs and nasty muscle degrading toxins. You in? I would really appreciate it. Hell yeah, girl. This sounds like it's going to be a fun fight. Hell yeah. Let's kick this dragon's ass. Grab your palico and let's go. Come on, Orpheus. All right, it's got to be around here somewhere. Hey, check this out. Ouch! They're so beautiful. Solana, run! Oh, snap! We should be safe now. Wait, what's that? This is just too much. We need to get out of here for now. Whoa, I was not expecting that. What was that monster? I don't know, but he was so amazing. I love it. I would die for him. Let's try not dying because of him. So what are we going to do? We don't know anything about that monster. How are we supposed to complete our mission? Well, when I don't know about a monster, I know who to talk to. Come on. I mean, come on, you can't tell me Raven wasn't the ultimate emo waifu back then. Sure, but like, Blackfire exists. <clears throat> ah, good evening, Rena. Happy Appreciation Fest. Thanks, Professor. Same to you. This is my friend Solana. Sol, these are Professors Argentum and Platinum, experts on the Coral Highlands and the Ancient Forest. Nice to meet you. Likewise. What can we do for you ladies? All right. So remember when you told me about the Rathalos? The two of us went off to go fight it, but we ran into a Diablos and some other monster. This big, beautiful electric wolf. It was so majestic. Ah, Chinoga, that's a rare one. Who knew Amatsu chased them all the way out here? I was wondering if you guys could do your thing and tell us about this monster. Give us the details. Sure. This monster popped up a lot in both the highlands and in the forest, so we're both pretty knowledgeable about this monster. You want to start or should I? No, you got it. Go ahead. Hello. And thank you for visiting. What's up? What's up? Thanks for stopping by the Research Commission where we use biology and chemistry to explain our favorite video game monsters. Like this puppy here. What? I I'm sorry. I got carried away. I'm just so excited. This monster is so cool. So is an average of 1,856 centimeters. It utilizes thunder element for its attacks as weak to ice and water element. 
this is a bad boy. Not really messed with by many monsters. I mean, even the Azoras see them as predators. This wolf eats bears! Jeez. So where does the electricity come from? The Zenogra has a cool symbiotic relationship with a little piece of endogenous life, Fulgerbugs, little mutant thunderbugs. Being at the lower end of the food chain, they choose to hang around the Zenogra for protection from predators, especially being that Zenogra plays on Gargwa, one of the main predators of thunderbugs. In return, the Zenogra has evolved to utilize energy from the Fulgerbugs in order to create electric attacks. So, where do the Fulgerbugs get the electricity? They make it themselves! Inside their bodies, they produce a group of organic compounds called flavin. They excrete these flavin compounds and they react with an enzyme, cytochrome C, on their abdomens. The chemicals react and start transferring electrons all over the place. If you touch it, you'll get zapped as the electrons look for an outlet. So when the Fulgerbugs and the Zenogra's fur discharge those free electrons, the Zenogra has made evolutions to absorb that energy and utilize it for themselves. Covered in the Fulgar Extract, the Zenogra's fur conducts electricity down into its body with the help of two adaptations. The first is a special coating on the Zenogra's fur, an organic graphene analog, similar to nickel hexamino triphenylene. This is a two-dimensional layer of metal that laces the fur. It's incredibly conductive, transporting the electric current down to the next adaptation, specialized nerve cells. These input nerve cells synapse one-to-one -one with about half of its total fur meaning one neuron for every other strand of fur on its massive body. These neurons all lead to a bundle of electrocytes within the Zogar. Oh, like what you told me with the Raffalos. Exactly, but on a much larger scale. This bundle is known as the lightning sack. These electrocytes are stacked on top of each other and are capable of holding a large amount of electrical charge, like a lightning bolt for it. Oh, awesome. It also draws in static electricity from the air. As the Fulgur bugs gather around it and discharge their extracts, the air around them gets charged. When the Xenogur has gathered enough electricity from contact with the extract and static in the air, it gets supercharged, discharging energy with its mighty howl. Ow! How does it discharge that energy? After it charges up, it has fully committed to the battle and starts discharging electricity within its body through a similar mechanism as the input. Electricity leaves the lightning sack and works its way up a second set of output neurons that synapse onto the other half of the first strands. This electricity is discharged as it pleases. Most electricity is looped back through a feedback system, being taken in by the input furs around the output furs. Any electricity not directed at a target is recycled back into the Zenogar to be reused again until completely empty, and it begins collecting Fulgur extract all over again. This has been very informative, thank you. But there are still two things I don't understand. If you say the Zenogar charges up by absorbing energy from these bugs, why does it look like lightning strikes it? Well, think about this. Natural lightning comes from static caused when clouds rub past each other on a large scale. It strikes down to the ground due to the simple fact that the air is a conductor of electricity. So when the Fulgerbuds have their juices flow in as they fly around, they charge the air around them. And since the Zenogar's fur is laced with a nickel compound, is going to attract that charge. So when static builds up strong enough, Boom! Cue the lightning effects! Cool. My second question is about that one attack it does. The one where it spins around and throws electricity from its tail. This move doesn't line up with anything you said so far. She's right. Electricity doesn't behave that way. It's moving much too slow to be lightning, but it's not moving in the normal arc pattern as if Sonoga were throwing a scale or something. What do you make of that? You know what? That's an excellent question. Yeah, I don't think I know that one. And here I thought you had all the answers, Professor. Haha, ha, very funny. But there are many things in science you still don't understand. Right, and where would be the fun if there was nothing left to learn? I bet if you go out there and catch us that Zenogar, we can figure it out, though. Sounds good to me. You ready for another adventure, Rena? I'm down. Let's go gear up. So back to the business at hand. We need to discuss why Mina Ashido is best girl. You know, that is a weird way to pronounce Himigo Toka. 